Yep, so out again this morning. It is around sunrise. Uh, the sun will rise over there in about five minutes. Uh, I'm here by a little pond and it's a very beautiful uh, it's very beautiful out here this morning. I'm out with the um, I'm out with the Fujifilm camera, the little digital one, and I have attached a polarizer to it. Right now, I'm going to uh, refine my composition a little because I have seen I've spotted something that is really magical, uh, and I hope I'm able to show that to you through this video. Uh, right now I'm working on putting on my um, on my um, self-timer, put it on for two seconds. And what I'm looking into now is actually I'm looking overlooking the little pond. And I'm in here in the mire, very close to it, in a little boggy area. I'm not quite sure if this is a bog or a fen. Difficult to say, difficult to say at this point. But what I will do now is I will uh, try to get my um, get my composition right and then I will fire off a few shots. Obviously a polarizer on it. And you know what? I have I have faith in this image. I think this will be a really beautiful image. So please wish me luck. found a other composition and I'm I found another composition here and I'm trying to create some kind of leading line into this composition. Um, I'm gonna try portrait orientation now just to see how that works uh, to see if I can get more of that into the foreground. Um, I will not stay here for long because it's um, rather wet <laughs> the the bog here is very wet and but i want to try to capture the morning mist with this little leading line so i'm actually considering a little focus stack here so we're just gonna and i'm using that self timer because i want to i want to get everything uh, I, I want I want to use a bit longer shutter speeds. Uh, right now I'm at uh, half a second, and I can't handhold that. Not even with this camera, which is actually very easy to handhold. Uh, so that's why I'm doing it this way. I'm actually considering just staying here a little bit, even though it's very wet, because I can see the sun is tipping over the. It's rising now over the over the beautiful sun uh, over the beautiful lake here, and I can see it on the top of the uh, top of the hills, and I will see what I can get out of it. the coffee uh, I'm actually now just looking at the beautiful light show and evolving in front of me and I'm right now I'm looking for a I'm actually just looking for colors I don't really care about most of my composition I just know that I want it to be a square composition uh, and I know that 
what I really want here is the hill over here to play the main part. Uh, I'll turn you around so you can see the what I'm talking about. Uh, it's this lovely hill over there. And... Hey, I'm back. Here I am. Have you missed me? Uh, anyway, uh, is uh, that little hill that I want, and the way the lights are striking it now is just incredible. So I'm at the at the widest my lens can go, f18. I'm at a quarter of a second, and I am I will give it some a half a second as well, right now, just making sure that I get what I want. Uh, the lighting today is just incredible and it is fantastic really to be out and just enjoying my morning coffee out oh, in nature. Uh, I won't stay here for very long because it's very wet and I'm actually starting to feel that my, my feet are freezing a bit because it's wet around them but I will, I will, I will tarry a little bit longer. And it will work, I guess. But right now, focusing on the beautiful light show evolving in front of me. found what I think will be my last composition of today. Uh, it's a birch tree that is leaning over over the towards the pond. Uh, it's so beautiful and yellow in the in the leaves and I really hope that I can capture that. Uh, uh, I've done a few shots already and I, as you've probably seen in the b-roll but I'm actually hoping to get the uh, get the leaves on the birch tree somewhat backlit and then that will make my image more interesting uh, at this point uh, it is in the shade while the rest of the scene is in the in the light or in the sunlight so it's um it's a difficult one this uh so i will wait it out for a little with my coffee also brought some water uh, i will wait it out for a little bit but i'm not quite sure if the sun will actually reach this tree. So we'll see. We'll see uh, how, what it works out like. Uh, obviously I got a polarizing filter on this morning uh, to bring out most of the colors. Uh, actually not bringing out colors at all. What I'm doing is actually removing all the sheen from the... Or I'm, I'm taking away the shine from, from the leaves and making them pop more. Uh, that's what a polarizing filter does. Uh, but right now I'm just waiting actually. Hope you're enjoying the video though, as much as I'm enjoying making it, because I'm really enjoying myself right now. I'm really having a beautiful morning coffee. like I'm getting the light that I wanted but you know what it's been an enjoyable morning so I think I'm gonna head home and I want to just say thank you for joining me uh, on this video as well and you know if you like my videos and you think what I'm doing is a good thing and that it should be done please like and subscribe you know I would really appreciate that. I will also appreciate a comment. 
It is soon approaching 8 o'clock. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. And I see that the light is rising on the other side of the lake only. And on this side, there will probably be nothing before the sun is too high. So I will just go home. I don't think I will get the, the composition with the backlit leaves. But you know what? I still got a few good images, I hope. And if not, it doesn't matter. Then I had a beautiful morning and some practice. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you will join me again in the next one.